Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we are going to use Shore Living Turtles. And it doesn't even say how many you get, so I wrote it on here. You get 14 pieces. Okay, and they're just little tiny turtles. And then we're also going to be using Shore Living Bigger Turtles. Okay, and you can hang them up. They give you burlap for that. That's what the hole's for, but I'm not going to be using them for hanging. And you get six of them, okay? Then, if you want to put a magnet on them, you can. If you want to put a clip on them, you can also do that. And that's what I'm going to do. I thought I had... These are the only two I have left. I had a whole bag. And then I had a whole bag of these, but they weren't... These ones are coated. I don't want to show you that. Okay. So I had these that were just plain wood. That's what these were. And I just painted them. I just want you to know you can paint them yourself. And then see how I stuck glue in there. I just do that to make them stay nice and sturdy. All right? You see how that's off a little bit? Just push it in. And then you only need to add glue on these little Elena's. And you only need to add glue to one side because you're going to be going this side down and it just makes it more sturdy so it won't fall apart because if you work with these some of them do fall apart okay so i just wanted to point that out so we'll put them aside to dry and i did the same things same thing on the ones that i painted that i had left over from painting but I think you, I'm just showing you you can get these. They, they had these on clearance on the 5th of September for a dollar. And they were $2.53 at Walmart. So if you have these, you can use them. You can use whatever ones you have. And these ones are smaller. Okay. So I got big ones for the big turtle. Because I'm going to put one on the big turtle. And I'm going to put one on the little turtle. Okay. So that's why I have two different sizes. Then I want to show you how to get rid of the hole. I already painted. I put paint on. I painted these with palm leaf only because I wanted to get rid of it. So I went around them and painted them. So they had a layer, like a foundation layer. So I painted them all. <laughs> but just to get rid of the paint, just take your Elena's. And try to start past the eye so it don't go down in a hole but it will go down in a hole just go like that and then set it on something like this and then in about i don't know five minutes flip it so it goes back up okay and then if you want it more i'll show you later if you want it more so it's not lumpy smooth you just take your finger after it's almost dry before it starts drying and wipe it off so I have to remember to show you that okay I have all these ones already painted they were small so I just painted them I kept one green I have yellow I have blue I used sunny day for the yellow I used English Navy for the blue and then I have a brown one and I use Territorial Beige. And then where's my orange paint? I have Harvest Orange for the orange one. And I have Flamingo Red. Those are the colors I'm using. You can use other colors you would like. Okay? But we're gonna put, we're gonna crinkle up. You have seashells? Okay? And if you don't, keep your seashells because that's what we're gonna put the turtle shell with, okay? But first, I want to get these all painted up. So all I'm going to do is take the paint and I'm going to have to clean my brush. That's another reason why I did those ones ahead of time. But plus I wanted 
I put two layers on some of them. Like the orange, I put two layers on. And the red, some of them I didn't, some I didn't. But you can do whatever you want. But I'm going to just take this and put it on the head, his back legs, and his arms. know if I should like do the edges because I don't know how much of the seashell I'm gonna be covering if I can get it to the edge or not so just for a precaution I'm just gonna put some glue in there just in case and if you want you can paint the sides Cleaning my brush between each color, of course. And if you want to paint the sides, you'll have to do two layers if you don't want the brown. But if you don't mind some of the brown showing, you don't have to worry about it. See how that green showing through? So I'm going to put more on there. And if you want to texture just this way, you can just put a thick coat on the arms. And down here in his head. Okay. See, that's thick. There's a texture there. I'll leave it so you can see what it looks like. Because I'm going to have to wait for all these to dry before I even start finishing them. But I will be finishing. I'll start with those ones because I already did those ones just for that reason. The blue covered it well. The other colors did not cover the sides very well. But the blue seeing it's dark or dead. See it's still some brown. Might need two layers. But if you don't worry about if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Okay. If you have die cuts, you can just put the paint on something. All the colors on it and then use die cut on it. Okay. Because like right, say you use red, orange, and yellow on something. The blue really don't go, but those three colors, if you have die cut leaves, you can just paint that up and then cut your die your leaves out. <laughs> okay, and we gotta check on our turtle. See how the glue goes down? Now we're going to turn it this way and let it sit upright so it goes back down. Okay. Now I'm going to take the harvest orange. And because of the green behind it, it might need two coats. It might. I think it's going to. You can see the green. And then I'm gonna go in just a little bit, just in case. I won't double coat that. I'll just double coat that. Other body parts. Doesn't look like there's much of a difference because I already painted that. Maybe when it dries, it'll look different. But I am gonna go around it the whole thing. And be careful because if you're using white I have a video on that you can just seal that I think it was Maj Maj I used sometimes it does come out I don't remember what I was doing in the video but I did a video and this brownness was coming on I, I'm pretty sure I used white or a light color and it was coming it was getting all yucky the brown was coming off of that part and just coming into the paint. So be aware of that. And I think that video is under this and that. I 
And that was like when I first started videotaping. So I'm not, that's why my memory, <laughs> that was like a year over, a little bit over a year. Ago. Okay, that one's done. I'm using territorial, territorial beige. Come in again, just in case. See, I put the glue right there. Okay, now I got sunny day. This one's still low wet too. Oh, that's the last one I did. That's the one I just did with you. And it sunk in. I'm gonna break that off. I'm gonna add some yellow to it to cover it up. Then I might put some more in because it's sunk, sunken in. And it's gonna look like it only has one eye. That's why I'm covering them up. But if you're gonna hang them again, don't need to worry about it. So this is going to need two coats. I'm going to let that get tacky and then wipe it off. And then you can even like put it in between too. Like that. And I have my leaves here to show you. And I made doing this. And then I can tell you that if I put them on. Or what material I put them on. And here's my leaves. Okay. That's what I did with them. I did a bunch of different colors. And they're purple leaves. They are now in aqua ones. And here's one where I mixed them. Okay. See? Perfect leaf. And I did this on junk mail. It was a flyer. Okay. And I love them. And they all turned out different when I used the different colors, as you can see. And they all look different and unique. So there's just an idea for you if you have die cuts. You can use different colors and just go to town <laughs> after it dries. Okay, beautiful beans. Okay. I'm gonna get cleaned up. Okay, beautiful beans, if you can. Before you dry your eggs, take the membrane out or you'll have this problem like I did. That one isn't a problem. It's just when you break them open, when you break them up to put them on the turtles, see that peels off. So you might wanna take the membrane out of the egg, okay? I need a toothpick. Okay, beans. I zoomed you in. I'm gonna break these and I'm gonna keep the big ones. And these do make a mess, that's why I have the cardboard. Okay. So I'm gonna keep the big shells for my turtles. You want them, see how that's curved? You want them flatter than that. I'm just putting the pieces that I'm breaking that are bigger on my turtles. So I have them for my turtles. <laughs> okay. So how's everybody doing? Good, I hope. Oh, 
son, his wife and Elijah aren't going to fly in until later. And a later date, so I will see them tomorrow. We're having a birthday party for Jackson. So of course I'm going to go to that and have it at my daughter Kara's house. This is working out great doing it this way because then I already have the other ones ready for the bigger ones. I'm just breaking them until I don't have that curve anymore. These pieces are too small to put there. I just moved you, didn't I? I want to make sure I'm in the middle. That will work. I need one more for the other the yellow one. It's up there. In. So I'm just breaking them like that for the big ones. Yeah. Let's check on that. Alright, now it's oozing out. So now I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to turn it back that way. Hey, beautiful things. And I did get paint on my fingers. <laughs> I just want to cover that hole. I think these are good enough for the big ones. So let's get started. I break these up more. These are for the little ones. I just I'm avoiding this. If you get that, just toss it. Like that one. That's not going to work. Okay, it's got the membrane on the other side of it. Alright. So let's take Elena's glue. I'm using Elena's. And I'm just going to put the glue in here. And I am going to leave the texture. It will be lumpy. Eggshells to glue down nicely. Glue the middle part. Like so. And that's where this comes in for later. And I just put them in there like that. And I know this is tedious, but it's worth it in the long run. Then I'm going to try. Get these. Alright, see the ones with the straight edge? I'm going to try to put that underneath that. Can feel a little bit me. I'm just going to continue. And I'm liking the ones with the curve. And there's the mat. I don't see no gnats until I get glue out. I'm telling you. <laughs> None. They love the smell of glue, especially my fly. Right, this one's big, so I'm going to stick this that way. And bring that down in. Use its curve. I don't think it's curved enough. Push that over. off here so there's that I need to do that so I put the rest in my shell I'm going to curve on this one I don't want that one in it we're looking for the ones with the curve. There's one. Kind of. Let's see how why I colored it in a little bit. Just in case we didn't get all the way out.
and then I need a tiny one. So I'll grab this one. If it will work with this, it needs to go. And then we still got glue showing. Let me push that one in a little bit. I'm screwing it all up. Use your toothpick. That's why you got it, Denise. There's no glue there, so I'm gonna move this one down here and try to find a piece fit in there. And it's got here. Where's my scissors? I don't know if I can just clip that off in it. Yeah, don't want to fit in there. There we go. Good enough. Over. So this one's basically done. So we're going to move on to the next one. And I'm going to fast forward it. I'm going to wipe that just a little bit and then the hole's gone, okay? And it just leaves a texture, okay? Because it's curved, see the curve? Head's still wet, so I gotta watch that. Get these out of the way. This one should be easier because he's bigger. Take this. I'm gonna find the curve and put it where it is. Put it down. Push on them and they'll go right in. This one's got a curve, kind of. Take that off. Take that one. And push it in. Pick it up, check it. Looks good. This one has a little tail. So we do have one with a tail. And I think 
run my paintbrush. I did. I did. See that green still? This isn't the right brush, but I'm just covering it. Up, that. And you can see that green underneath. Alright, we're gonna wait for them to dry. To paint them. Okay, beautiful beans. We're going to color these in. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm thinking I want to try different colors and I'm going to fast forward it and then I'm going to stop at certain points to show you a technique that I did on the arms and the legs and the head and then I get on the shell after it was dry. Okay, and I'm not cleaning my brush. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm just dabbing it on the paper bag, wiping it off as good as I can, and then going to the next color, okay? So remember that because that blends some of the colors nicely together.
Hey beautiful beings. I'm going to test it on these colors. I have silver glitter. Okay, extreme glitter. And I have extreme glitter. And it's hologram. Okay. This is supposed to be clear, but sometimes it turns green. That's why we're going to test it. Okay. Okay. First, I'm going to do the silver. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. And we're going to see what it does. I'm just going to take some out of the... I want to... I'm going to put it on this because I want to see if it changes the color. Okay, so that's silver. And let's try it on the blue too. Put some on the blue. We'll leave this, the silver on the left. hologram on the right see there's, there's green in it but I want to see what it looks like okay I'm gonna let that dry and then when I come back we'll see which one looks better the silver or the hologram I almost forgot to show you beautiful beings All right see the brush it's usually flat like this okay see how flat that is you just dip it in the paint go like this see how it separates now it's separated and that's how you get these marks Hey, beautiful beings. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that. Don't push too hard. Just push nice and gently. And you'll have your marks. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. I want to give you a better view. This is hologram. Okay. It's right there. You can see a little bit. It's on the right. See a little bit of the green. It's again there. You can see a little bit of the green. It's got like green glitter, glitter that turns green. And then this is the silver, and it dries clear. There's a little gray in there, but just in case you want to buy them. Okay, that's gray too. You can see it better on the turtles. But this is hologram, extreme glitter. And this is silver extreme glitter. Okay. All right, here's the turtles. I did some already. I don't think I put any green on the turtles. No, these are both gray. Silver. Okay. And I put a little face on there. Well, eyes and a nose. It's not very good, but that's the best I could do. I want to show you the difference with the shimmer so you can figure out which one you like. The silver. This is a silver hologram or a silver extreme glitter. And this one isn't glitter, just the head is because I took a black gel pen to do the noses and the mouth. And I had to let it dry and then I had to really quickly put it over it so it didn't smear the black because I did have it smear and I had to do it again. Okay. But there's all their faces, but silver glitter, not done. Just the head's done. Okay. See the difference? Okay. And I'll just keep comparing them to the one not done. Then we're going to do the one that's not done. This is the silver extreme glitter. 
think. Nope, this is the silver again, extreme butter. The hologram really shows up on black. But here's, see this is a hologram. It's got the green glitter in it. It really shows up in dark colors. Okay. And this one is too, I put it on that one too. And I just did the silver, I think, on that one. Just trying to show you the differences. Here's another one. Compared to when it's not done. I just did the head again because of the eyes and the nose. But there's a difference. And then this one is a hologram with a green on it. But, where's the one I'm going to glue? I don't want it. I should have done lighter colors. Because they show up better. Now I'm trying to figure out which one I want to glue the close pin on. We'll glue it on the green one, I think. I'm going to glue this on here. Okay. And I'm going to take the side that I glued that to seal it. To make it stronger so it didn't break. And I'm gluing this side down that I didn't put the glue on, okay? So that's where we glued it. And we're putting this side on that turtle. Make sure it's shut good. And I'm just gonna put it the whole length of that. And then stick it down on a turtle. It's going to show a little bit because it is a little longer than the turtle. That's okay. And I'm going to put it in the middle. Then we got this big turtle. And I'm going to... I did it on both sides on this one. But I'm just going to take the glue. Put it all the way up. And I'm going to stick it on this turtle. I'll let them dry. Then I'm going to shake up the hologram. And I'm going to squirt some on here. We'll do a little one first. And then here. Because it's got a little green on it. And you could put as much as you want on it, as less as you want. And I just put a lot on, so I don't have to give it another layer. And if you just want a little bit on a project, you can just put a little bit on a project. Okay. I'll let that dry. To our big turtle. This one you need a lot because you got to get in those eggshells. Okay. His arms. Legs. But yeah, this like seals your product projects too. At least it does on the egg shells. It down in there everywhere. I just like the effect from the eggshells. I did a whole bunch of these with other shapes way back when I first got started crafting. And it's way, way back. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit more so I can do the head again. Okay. I just want to show you a perfect example. See how it turned green on the black? This is a hologram, extreme glitter. See how it's green glitter? And that's the hologram. Okay, extreme glitter. And then the 
that's what that looks like it's just like gray glitter in so this is a silver extreme glitter and it just has gray glitter in it and i'll be back when all these are dry okay okay beautiful beings this one i love <laughs> And we used a hologram extreme glitter that had the green glitter. You can see that. It's really shimmery. But I'd go with lighter colors. There's the orange one. Some of them are kind of dark. I like the lighter one. I mean, I like them all. But my favorite are the lighter ones. The ones that are lighter in color. Okay. I'm just going to show them all to you again so you can get a close up of all of them and this one I put the paper clip or the close pin on and I put the close pin on this Whoop. and these are going to go they'll be in a future video where I clip them into the pocket files okay but yeah, I think the lighter colors are the best way to go. So I do have, I only have one of these. So I have to get some, but next year I'll do some more. I got five of these left, but next year I'll do it again. But I'm going to use all bright light colors. And when I fill in the detail, I'm not going to put so much down. Like here. I think the shovel on it look cute there. Just clip it right on there. Okay. Or you can put it in a book, whatever you want to do. Or glue them down in your journals. And that's what I'm going to do with the ones without the clothespin. Or, if you don't like that, the little ones will probably look better. Clip it on a pocket. Like I said, that's dark. <laughs> We're getting the gist of it. Or, magnet from Dollar Tree. And that will be hidden and you can put it on a fridge make a big one a little one okay just glue the magnet and Dollar Tree on the back or you can glue it on a big one whatever you want to do beautiful beings okay hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching have a wonderful everything